Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I think I win. Maybe this deck is good. I'm ending the game against the Quest Priest with 73 health. It looks like he's having a bad time. Yeah, I'm... I don't know how well this deck will do because of um, Theo. Because they're going to be able to Theo or Mutanus my, um, my guffs. Like decks that now have this payoff where it you like hold it in your hand for a while, I don't think are going to do too great. I'm just here for pre-patch waiting room. Yeah, I know. I know, man. I can't wait. I'm very excited. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. <laughs> could you run Theo in this deck? You could. Don't really know what I want to take out, though. I kind of just want to keep all my nature cards. Got confirmation that high speed nanners are going to be in your area. That's exciting. I think this deck needs jerry rig. Yeah, this deck does need jerry rigs. I don't know why he would use this now. My hand is kind of poop. Who I don't know what to do. My opponent played his Theo. And I don't know. How about you? He's looking for some guff. He's looking for some stuff. I have none of that in my hand. I think he might give me a better card than what I currently have. My deck is really bad, so it's okay that he takes some stuff. What did you take? You took Thorn Grit. What did you take? You took my Living Roots? What will I ever do without those cards? <laughs> what will I ever do without my my roots? What do you think of Token Druid at the moment? It looked okay. It didn't really look that good, but it looked okay. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Hit him with the Nino, hit him with the Sauna. <laughs> I'm playing this so slow, chat. So I want to go like this and this and this, but I also want to make sure like I get this, like with the hero by my like my, my button first. Oh my. What a top Kekersons. Alright, I can win now. I got pressure, baby. Yeah, this deck needs two jetty rigs. Where you followed. Yeah, I need two jerry rigs in this bad boy. So this is going to be good. So it's like, we're going to be able to draw like a million cards here. So he's going to counter a card because it's a mage. So we'll do, we'll do condemn first. We'll, we'll take a peek. See what, um, what we got going on with there. What up, Diablo? Good to see you. Have a good time with your dad. Yeah, New Hampshire was fun. It was a short trip, though. We were only there for a couple days. And like, while I thought I would be pampered and refreshed, now that I'm, um, now that I'm back, counterspell, that's fine. I thought I would feel a lot better now that I'm back. I actually like am more tired. Like, I don't understand how that's, um, how that's possible. Like, I feel more tired now than when I left. So now we get to use this, seaweed some stuff. We get the hero power. And do feral rage some stuff. And then we start to uh, just get the guff going. Guffer time. I have no minions in my hand, sir. My opponent's like, all right. I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> My opponent looks to be just as confused as I am when I built this deck. I 
I don't know what to do this turn. I should probably play some cards and figure it out. I don't want to waste the... Eh, it's fine. It's a great amount of damage. That is a fantastic amount of damage. Clean the scene. Oh no. What will I do? My minions. My poor, poor minions. This gives go. Yeah, we have the Shrub and Wild Heart as the entire top end of the deck. So, Cold Tooth will always draw those two cards, which I think is important. Ooh, Park Panther now completes. Yes. Fantastic. Alright, so now we just put pressure every single turn. I gotta be careful of Mutanus, though, so I'm gonna leave this turtle in my hand. I think this is going to be my draw turn. I'm going to leave all these minions in my hand, just in case of Mutanus. He also can make me overdraw. One, two, three, four, five, and I have seven cards in my hand. Whoopsies. We could get in trouble. He could make me overdraw all of my good cards that I don't care about, because we already have what we need. We've got our Guffy boy. We've got our Mark boy. Another one. Uh oh, no. This could be a disaster. What am I overdrawing? What's the damages, Captain? Mark is gone, Treasure Guard's gone, Pounce is gone. None of those really mattered. Just resting my eyes. This must be Curious to see, yep. Oh my god. Oh my goodness? I think I win. Maybe this deck is good. I'm ending the game against the Quest Priest with 73 health. And, um, it looks like he's having a bad time. But I'm having a good time. Everybody having a good time? This is great. Why Shaman not so common right now? Is it because of the elemental nerf? Yes, sir. Cards get nerfed, people stop playing the class, even though the class is perfectly fine. Oh, my me got nerfed! And then they can't, they just gravitate whatever the next best deck is. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, Shaman's no longer the best deck, so people just don't want to play it. Eight mana plague and you're dead? Oh yeah, it gets rid of my, uh, my guff, doesn't it? Well now how do I win? You're exactly right. We're gonna have to find a new win con. Alright. Still has to deal with the board. We still have the win con of the deck making three threes. Like, while he did get rid of my guffs, and that is a disaster, I think this is still a good. I was actually thinking about playing, um, 
the colossal thing in this deck. So he's going to heal for 8. So he goes to 12. I see 6. Hit a 1-2. Hit a 1. Just not a 3-3. Three, three. All right. How much damage do I have here? I have 7. 13. Damn it. I have 13. If it just wouldn't have hit a 3-3, three, three, I win. This card can win. Is that lethal? Does this king go face right? So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think that's exact lethal. Damn, son! No, you can't. You need something to attack with a panther, and I can't attack the beast. You have to attack the 1-4. So only one target with Panther. I love my big guppo. We gonna hit him in the... Are you here to remind our viewers that by liking, subscribing, and commenting helps us so you can get fed and get more doggy toys? Is, is that what you wanted to tell them, bud? Is that true? Uh, Phelan. Phelan is the other card I used to play in this deck because you can go brand Phelan and then you can Zola Phelan. And then you just moonlit into a bunch of Colossuses if Guff doesn't work out. That's also a play I used to do with this deck a lot. Why not Teacher? Uh, Teacher's not as good anymore. And uh, the druid hits off teacher are actually pretty bad. Because if you hit like Feral Rage, it just randomly casts one of the parts. Which means you can't guarantee you get the attack. So it doesn't progress your quest. Like teacher when Warlock is really good. Because like there's a lot of great Warlock cards. But for that like cost or whatever, right? But against um, uh, with um, druids, teachers, they just don't really do much. I mean, I guess you could maybe get Moonlit Guidance or something like that. I just figure we also have, like, a good good 4-drops. But yeah, there's maybe merit to you run... I put two Enforcers in, and then two School Teachers. Right? But then we're, like, running more Nagas, and then we have to cut some Nature Package. And that just, uh... Not, you know what I'm saying? It's not bad. You basically remove Aquatic, and then you'd have to take out one of the nature cards. And that's hard to want to do. But I uh, know, looking now that there's Moonlit Guidance, like you could hit Moonlit, you could hit Planted Evidence, Aquatic Form. Maybe it's not as bad as I originally thought, but it still doesn't seem great to me. What up, GDI? Wow, my opponent's doing the great stuff. This may be a game where I have to Zola Seedsman. Teacher any good with Rogue? Not so much. I think you want to play School Teacher in Warlock. Demon Hunter. Well, I lose. That was a fun game. Should have played Planted Evidence first. Enemies of nature, beware. Ah. 
I can see if this is going to hit the other thorn growth. Not exactly. Uh, I'm trying to find a way to deal with this. These guys should do that. And then I think I can outlive the armor on that. This is going to be tough, but I think I can do it. As long as he doesn't find Edwin soon. Uh, uh, I was really hoping he didn't find a removal for that. Alright, so it meant 12. So I have to take 10. That's 8. Okay. I can live. If I find Guff... Or the other centuries. Okay, that's not bad. Lead with this. Get armor, draw a card. Am I about to beat this rogue? I think I just may. Do I want to double draw? I think I do. Okay. I live to tell another tale. Is 170 legend on Asian server? Is good on Asian server? Yeah, I mean, that's good. I mean, that's top 200 legend, man. I just need him to not have Edwin for like a turn or two here. Okay, I'm at 12. So he's going to do the ghost thing. Okay. This is like his final hoorah here. Okay. I just complete Guff, and I just play him. I actually should have played this too. Alright, I win. Holy shit. <laughs> I beat this guy! He had a 10... He, no, we had a 11... Oh, a 10... 11 attack dagger. And an 11 11, a 3 5, and a 3 4 on turn 4. Smart moves. I concede. That was. That game went down to knowing what your opponent's deck can and can't do. Wow. I cannot believe we beat that guy.